Let's begin with our hands gently placed on our knees, palms facing the sky. Taking a moment here to settle in, to quiet the thoughts, to be with ourselves in stillness. Taking a long, slow and penetrating inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath. Exhale, release through the mouth and let it all out. Another deep inhale in through the nose. And slowly exhale, release through the mouth. Rotating the palms down to the knees. Let's tilt our head to the left. And on the exhale, rolling the head down and around slow and circular motions and inhaling as the head rotates back up. And slowly on the last inhale, let's bring our heads back to center and rotate in the opposite direction, dropping the ear down to the right side and rolling the head forward and around towards the left, feeling every ligament in the neck and in the shoulders. And on that last inhale, let's bring our heads back to center, raising the shoulders up towards the ears and dropping them down, rounded, circular motion behind us, rotating the shoulders up and down. And when you're ready, you can reverse the direction, moving the shoulders forward. And then maybe one by one, left to right, shaking out the shoulders. All right, let's come onto all fours and gently let's sit back on our heels. The tops of our feet are planted into the mat. This is our sesh position. Let's drop the hands down to our side and slowly raise the hands up on the inhale. Fingertips to touch, palms connected, reaching to the sky above us. Slowly exhale as we bring the hands down with intention, past the crown, past the third eye, and into the heart space. This is our moment of intention, our moment of settling in, of self-awareness and presence. I invite you to set an intention for today's practice, whatever it is that you need today. Bring the hands down and around behind us, interlocking the fingertips. Gazing ahead, we're going to bend at the hips and slowly bring our forehead to the mat, bringing our arms up behind us. Fingertips are still interlocked. Okay, arms should be pointing all the way up towards the sky. Just go as far as you can, honor where you are in your practice. Feel a nice stretch here in the shoulders. Let's breathe through this. And on the inhale, let's raise back up. Arms are still extended behind us, slowly dropping them down, unlocking the fingers. And let's come onto our toes, sitting on our heels. 
deep inhale in through the nose. And as we exhale, let's drop the hands down, bring them behind us, interlock the fingers. And we're gonna bend at the hips, bringing the forehead forward towards the mat. Arms are reaching up towards the sky, breathing into our diaphragm. Inhale, slowly come up. Let's come forward onto all fours. Deep inhale, rounding the spine into Mother Newt. Holding. Exhaling, arching the back. Father Gip. We're gonna do a couple rounds of this. Deep inhale, in through the nose, arching the back, Mother Newt, which represents the cosmos. Exhale, arching the back, Father Geb. Father Geb represents our connection to the earth. Inhale, extend the left leg back and the right arm forward, finding our balance here, holding. Breathing in, focusing on one point in front of you. We can find balance on the mat. We can find balance in our lives. Continue to hold. And on the exhale, bring the knees and the hands back. Come into Mother New. And exhale, release into Father Geb. Opposite side, right leg is extended back, toes pointed. Left arm is extended ahead. Gazing straight ahead, find that point, find that balance. Flexing the glutes, the calves, maintaining strength. Deep inhale in. Hold. Exhale, release. Coming back to center, inhale round the spine, Mother Newt. Exhale, this time we're going to tuck the toes under and press the hips back into our first pyramid position of today. Gazing ahead, we're going to roll the shoulders forward over the wrists, coming into a tall plank, bending the knees down, and coming back into our child's pose. We're going to do a shoulder stretch from here. So slowly bringing the gaze up towards the top of the mat, we're going to lift our right arm, tuck it underneath our left arm, Having that arm lie flat onto the mat, bringing our right ear to the mat and holding here. These long positions are an opportunity for surrender. If there's any pain, any tension in these areas, allow them to be nourished and cleansed through the breath. Slow and steady inhales, allowing the inhale to move in and penetrate through your entire body. And on the next inhale, slowly gazing up, shoulder and arm to follow, extending both arms towards the top of the mat, child's pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, bringing the gaze back up. This time, left arm comes up and tucked under the right, extended out. Bringing that left ear down to the mat. Exhale, release. Finding comfort in the discomfort. And remaining here for a few more breaths.
And on the last inhale, slowly bringing up the gaze, the arms come into child's pose, forehead to the mat. Slowly inhaling, rolling the shoulders back, coming into sesh position. Let's lean forward, come onto all fours. Tuck the toes under and gently press the hips back into pyramid. Let's take a deep inhale here, gazing forward. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Come into a forward bend. Hold here. Just going as far as you can, finding your edge, holding there and breathing. It's about where you are in your practice and in your body. Over time, the muscles loosen up, the blood flow gets in, the breath moves in and loosens things, and you're able to go deeper and deeper. No pressure, just presence. And on the next inhale, slowly the gaze comes up. Let's bend the knees, pressing the hips back, coming into a chair position as the arms float up and over the head. Fingertips to touch. Tailbone is tucked under. And on the exhale, straightening the legs as the arms come down along your side. Slow and steady. Inhale, arms come up all the way, fingertips to touch, reaching above the head. And exhale, hinging at the hips, forward bend, bringing those hands all the way down to the mat. Another round of breath here, slowly inhaling, holding, and exhale, release. Slowly on the inhale, let's come back into our chair position, bending the knees, hinging at the hips, pressing the hips back, arms come up. And slowly on the exhale, straightening the legs as the arms come down to our side. Inhale, arms come up. Fingertips to touch and exhale, hinging at the hips, forward bend fingertips to the mat. Inhale, gaze up, a straighten back. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Either hop or step your feet to the back of the mat, coming into a tall plank, bending the knees and pressing the hips back into child's pose. And now for Wajet, let's roll onto all fours pressing the chest forward and down into our snake position. And just like the black racer snake that's in Mississippi, this pose represents power, transition, and a cycle of rebirth. Slowly on the inhale, let's tuck the toes under. Press the hips back into pyramid. Find your grounding and exhale. Lifting the right leg up high, toes pointed. Bend the knee and drive that knee forward into a forward lunge. Right foot planted on the mat. Both hands are extended down towards the mat. We're gonna do a spinal twist. Keeping the left palm planted on the mat, take that right arm up and around towards the sky, opening up the chest, gazing above. The back leg is straight and extended on the balls of your feet. And we're breathing here, 
deep inhales and exhales. Go ahead and take that arm down and around and come back into pyramid position. Slowly roll the shoulders over the wrist, bending the knees and coming back into your snake position. Holding here. Inhale, tuck the toes under and drive the hips back into pyramid. Deep inhale and exhale here. Let's lift the left leg high this time. Bend that knee, drive the knee forward into a forward lunge. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Opening up the chest towards the sky. The left arm is up and extended towards the sky. Holding here. Feeling into the strength of your body. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On the next inhale, let's rotate the hands back down to the mat and come into pyramid position. Remember that our palms are stretched wide on the mat. Our feet are driving down towards the earth. And on the inhale, Let's walk or hop the feet up to the top of the mat into a nice forward bend. And slowly with our feet together, we're inhaling and raising the hands up towards the sky, palms connected. And on the exhale, rotate the palms out and slowly bring the hands down just to your shoulders, bending the elbows into ka and breathing into the heart space. On the exhale, bring the hands together, hinging at the hips, folding forward. Let's bring the hands all the way down to the mat slowly. On the inhale, come up halfway, back is straight. Exhale, fold into yourself. Inhale, slowly bring the arms up, above the head, palms touching. Exhale, rotate the palms out and down just to your shoulders. Rotating the palms forward, let's come back into calm. Exhale, bring the hands together into your heart space. I'm gonna show you just another angle here. It's about 100 degrees outside, so I'm sweating profusely, but it's good for detoxification. Let's bring the hands all the way up. Fingertips and palms to touch. Let's drop the right arm down to our side and use that to lift up our left foot. Gently place the foot onto our right thigh and then bring both hands back up towards the sky, palms connected, fingertips spread wide, beautiful flower up top. This pose reminds me of the wildflowers that I see in Mississippi. Maintaining balance here, focus on one point in front of you sturdy and planted into the earth like a wildflower. Wildflowers are a flower that grow freely, resiliently and beautifully. They can grow almost anywhere. You may find them in the cracks and crevices and they grow despite everyone's belief that they never could. So when we're in this position, we're embodying the spirit of the wildflower no matter what we're going through, we can grow freely and beautifully. Keep holding, deep inhale in through the nose. Slowly exhale, release. Rotating the palms out and down to your sides, using your left arm to unlock your foot and twist it out from side to side. Deep inhale in, bringing the hands back up towards the sky. Opposite side, we're gonna drop our left arm down this time, reaching up for our right foot, planting it on our left thigh, 
and coming back into the wildflower position. Remembering that this is a pose for balance. Another deep inhale in through the nose, slow and steady. And on the exhale, rotating the palms out and bringing them down to your sides. Unhook that right foot and twist it out. Another deep inhale, bringing the arms up over the head, hinging at the hips, coming into a forward bend. Inhale, slowly come up halfway. Exhale, release. Hands are firmly planted into the mat. Come into a tall plank. Bending the knees and coming into child's pose. Breathing here. Taking a moment to settle into our bodies. Just check in, see how we're feeling. See what's been loosened up. Being present in the moment. And on the inhale, slowly rounding up the spine, coming onto all fours. Deep inhale, tucking the toes under, pressing the hips back into pyramid. Lifting that right leg high, bending the knee and driving that knee forward, forward lunge. This time we're gonna come up, bringing the arms up. Try to extend that back leg straight on the ball of your foot. 90 degree angle with that front lunge. Hold here and sink deeper. Inhale, continue to reach up through the fingertips. And on the exhale, rotating the palms out and slowly bringing them down. The flapping of the wings, like the swallowtail butterfly. Rotating the palms up as they reach up above. Fingertips to briefly touch and rotate the palms down, sinking deeper into the lunge. And on the last descent, let's lean forward, bring our hands down to the mat, and bring that right foot back up towards the sky, bending the knee, bringing it down to join the other foot, coming into pyramid. Slowly rolling the shoulders over the wrists, bringing the knees down, pressing the hips back into child's pose. Inhale and exhale here. Slowly rolling up onto all fours. We're going to gently and smoothly press the chest down, rolling into our snake movement. And then coming up, thighs are lifted off the mat, tucking the toes and slowly pressing the hips back, coming into pyramid. Deep inhale and exhale here. Deep inhale, let's lift the left leg high, bending that knee, driving it forward into a forward lunge. We're going to move into the swallowtail butterfly movement on this side as well. Deepening that lunge, bringing the arms all the way up, fingertips to touch, sinking deeper into the lunge. Slowly on the exhale, let's bring the hands down to our side. Slow and steady. Rotating the palms at the base as we move the hands up on the inhale. And again, 
flapping our wings. The swallowtail is symbolic of transformation and rejuvenation. And so as we flap our wings, our arms are extending out, catching up and picking on the air around us. We're allowing ourselves to set ourselves free and welcoming and transformation. And on the next inhale, our arms come up. And slowly on the exhale, let's fold forward and bring that left leg back up to the sky, gently bringing it down to meet the other, coming into pyramid. Slow inhale, holding the breath and to exhale, release. Rolling the shoulders forward, let's bring the knees down and sit back into sesh position. Palms are gently placed on our knees, gazing ahead. Deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, release. Dropping the hands down to our sides, slowly bring them up, twisting the spine to the right, bringing one arm behind us and one arm to the other side of our thigh. Spinal twist, gazing behind us. Deep inhales here. The next inhale, slowly twist back to center, bringing the arms all the way up above the head, fingertips to touch. And on the exhale, twisting the spine to the opposite side, bringing one arm behind you and the other on the outside of your left thigh, gazing behind you chest is open and expanded. We're breathing slowly in through the nose, drawing the breath all the way down to the base of our spine and exhaling slowly through the nose. On the next inhale, slowly bring the hands back up, fingertips to touch, palms connected, slowly drawing the hands down into the heart space. Let's come forward coming onto all fours, tucking the toes under, pressing the hips back. Let's come into pyramid. Deep inhale and exhale here. Gazing up at the fingertips, let's hop or step our feet to the top of the mat. Coming into chair pose, shifting the weight into our heels, bringing the arms all the way up. Fingertips to touch, inhale. On the exhale, straightening the legs and bringing the arms down to our side. Another inhale, let's bring our hands into our heart space. Extend our feet out so we have this triangular shape. Our feet, we're gonna fold forward and bring our hands down into the center. Breathing here. Leaning to the right side, just getting some length into that left leg, using your arms or your hands for stability. Leaning to the left side, holding. And on the inhale, let's come back to center. If you can reach your head down towards the mat, that's fine. If not, just use your arms, use your hands. Now we're gonna do an extended stretch. So we're gonna reach forward with both hands. Feet are still extended, legs are extended. We're really reaching through our back, through our shoulders, through the fingertips. Finding stability here. Breathing in. On the inhale, let's bring our hands back closer to the mat. Lifting the head up for an added stretch. Coming back down and slowly wiggle those toes and feet closer together so they're completely joined in. Finding ourselves in a forward bend. Breathing here. Extending the feet out once more. 
This time a little spinal twist, so reaching towards your right ankle with your left arm. Right arm comes up towards the sky, holding. And opposite side, this time right arm is reaching towards our left leg. Left arm is extended up, we're gazing up. Deep inhale here. And come back to center. Inhale and slowly wiggle those feet back to the center. And on the exhale, we're going to go into a forward bend. And on the inhale, we're going to slowly rise up, fingertips and palms connected. Rotate the palms out and on the exhale, bring the hands down along your side. Stopping at the shoulders, bending the elbows into ka, opening up the chest and the heart space, gazing to the right. Slowly on the exhale, gazing to the left. Inhale. And on the exhale, slowly bending forward, come into a forward bend. Exhale, release. Go ahead and sink the bottom down to the mat. Come into a seated position, legs extended out and in front of you. Inhale and exhale, release into a forward bend, a sitting forward bend. On the inhale, we're breathing in. And on the exhale, we're breathing out, pushing ourselves, sinking a little bit deeper into the stretch. Slowly on the inhale, rounding the spine back up to a straightened position. Let's take the hands down, palms behind us, fingertips pointing towards the top of the mat, using the strength in our arms to lift our hips up, feet are flat on the ground, tilting the head back. Try and find a straight line from the tip of your toes all the way up past the thighs into the neck. Hold here. Chest is wide open and ready to receive. Breathing into the chest, our heart space. Slow and intentionally. And on the exhale, slowly lowering our hips down back into a seated position. We're just gonna gently lie back onto our backs. Knees are bent, bringing the knees into the chest, lifting the legs up high. We're gonna do a plow position. This is actually in Dara Temple. When you're ready, hop the feet behind you, supporting your lower back with your hands if you need to or you can gently press the hands down into the mat. Pointing the toes, legs are straight. And here's your opportunity to have just a little bit of fun. You can bring your legs all the way up, supporting your lower back with your hands. You can bend the knees. You can alternate one or the other. Do what feels good for you. And when you're ready, slowly lower your bottom down to the mat. Come into a seated position, legs extended in front of you, forward bend. Take a deep exhale here. And on the inhale, we're going to come up and then lower ourselves back down to the mat. Arms are behind us, reaching up. Extending the legs down, bringing the arms to our side. Exhale, we've made it through. This is our moment to be in complete stillness. Our moment of complete surrender. Letting the mind 
settle, letting the thoughts escape, and just being with ourselves. Allow this to be a moment of complete me time. Allow this to be a moment of bliss in your day, of not worrying about anything else that you have to do, or anything that has happened yesterday or the day before. You deserve a moment of euphoria, of stillness, of peace, of bliss, and this is your moment. And slowly, very slowly, we bring ourselves back into this awareness, moving back into our bodies from wherever we went, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, breathing into the chest, exhaling. And on the next inhale, let's raise the hands above our head slowly and rotate onto our right side, coming into a fetal position, the position of the womb. And when you're ready, using the strength in your arms to press yourself up back into a seated position, taking one big inhale here, Exhaling, releasing the hands down to the knees. Breathing in and releasing. Slowly, let's drop the hands down to the side, bring them up. One last spinal twist, one arm goes behind, the other to the opposite knee, twisting behind you. Breathing in, exhaling. And on the next inhale, slowly rotate the arms up and down, twisting to the opposite side. One arm goes behind you, the other to the opposite knee. Deep breaths here. And one last inhale, arms come up, fingertips to touch, palms connected. Slowly bringing the hands down, hovering over the crown, past the third eye, and into the heart space. Ankh Ujjasana, Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining on this journey. I wish you a beautiful day. May peace be in your hearts, your deeds, and your spirit.